Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Survival Series, episode 21. I think we're on episode 21, right? No, 22. My bad, my bad. Episode 22. I'm starting to lose track of uh, how many we've done, my goodness. Alright, we have $104,000 in the bank account. We're getting ready to uh, sell off our normal monthly uh, dose of sawmill products. We are now in the month of May. We fast forwarded to the next month. We got a lot to do. We're gonna sell off everything we have, uh, products wise, productions. Uh, then we have our grass field we're gonna finish plowing. Then we're gonna go pick up our new planter we purchased last episode and get all kinds of products. I'm gonna put in a bulk silo over there for our seeds, lime, it's going to save us from having to drive back and forth to the store. Also might put in a liquid tank. Uh, that way we'll have everything. It's still going to charge us when we use it, so we'll still have to pay for it. But at least it'll be on the farm, easy to access. So we're going to get those placed and sell this stuff off. So I uh, hope everybody's been enjoying the series. Things are going to really start to pick up as far as <clears throat> field creations go. Uh, we're not going to get too excited on the next field because next month all this will be ready to harvest. So uh, we'll make sure we, you know, enjoy the harvest. It's been a while. With seasons on, you don't get to do harvesting as often. The more fields we create, uh, the better chance of harvesting on different months, depending on what crop we put in there. All right, so here's our first sell of the day. Beautiful. Just got about $40,000. Go load up the rest of what's at the sawmill. Then we'll try to load up fruit and vegetables, maple syrup, Maybe the uh, wool. Yeah, maybe some wool pallets if it lets me. Load these up. Load these up. All right, that's all our sawmill products. Let's head over here and see if it'll let us load up the wool. I don't know. It wouldn't let me load it up last time. It's probably because of a certain setting I have for this trailer. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully it picks it up. Oh, maybe because it's not a full pallet. I bet that's why. Uh, container type all. Material type all. Yeah, that's probably why, because it's not a complete pallet yet. So we'll just wait for that. There's old Rex checking out the farm. Yeah, month of May, looking good. We're also going to sell some more equipment that uh, has kind of outgrown or the farm has outgrown the equipment. So we'll be selling a few things today. All right, there's our fruits and veggies. There's our maple syrup. All right, ought to be a good chunk of money. So we survived the winter, and that's the good thing. Our uh, cows almost didn't have enough food to survive, but we, we made it work. So we really want to get that grass field planted today so we get a better yield when we sell grass bales. That didn't make sense at all. I'm thinking before, I'm thinking too much before I speak. I'm speaking before I think. All right, there we go. Let's see what we make on all this. 
Oh yeah, we're pushing 200 grand. Beautiful. We need it too because we need we need to make some purchases today. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Break that 180. I'm out. All right, close. Uh, another 35 grand on all that. That puts us uh, just a hair under 180 grand. All right, so now we're going to take a little break from this. Well, we, we're done with that. So um, I'm going to put in the silos, the bulk silo, maybe a liquid silo. We'll see how much they are. And then I'm going to finish plowing our field over here. We want to get that finished up so when we go pick up the planter, uh, we'll be able to get both things done. All right, so we're going to time lapse. Enjoy. And I'll see you when the time lapse is over, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just got that done you know what as I've plowed that field and this foul field now with this tractor um, it's obvious we need an upgrade we need more power <laughs> um, I'll keep this tractor for sure for other things because it's got the front uh, attach loader but my goodness uh, plowing it's having a little trouble so with all that money we have I think we will invest where did all my money just go where the heck did all our money just go how much was that how much was that silo oh my goodness what did I do how much did we just pay for that silo Fifty thousand dollars. That's where'd all my money go? I'm I'm a little confused. I'm gonna check something real quick. I hope we don't have one of those uh, money glitch problems where when you use a tool, like your money disappears. What in the world? 
Alright, so we'll drop this. I just want to see what happens. $79,600. Where the heck did our money go? Anybody else a little confused right now? 79 plus 50 is 130. We had almost $200,000. Where the heck did our money just go? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Month of May, 120 in water costs, 118 in production, 115 in construction? What in the world? 115 thousand dollars i don't understand why we just got robbed yeah i think we just got robbed unless we got like a big penalty for where we placed it that is a ridiculous penalty. I, I don't know what happened. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to give ourselves money back. That's that's not fair. I don't know what the heck happened. Um, we pop, That was a $50,000 silo. We had 180 grand. So we should have 130 grand. So hopefully you guys understand what happened there because that that's not fair <laughs> that doesn't make sense 179 we had like 179 minus 50 is 129 so that brings us back to 129 grand that's fair i don't maybe it placed it twice i hope i don't have two of these sitting here Maybe it accidentally placed two? That's almost what it... it hmm. It's almost like it charged you for placing two, but we only have one. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I gave ourselves that money back, because that's, that's crazy. I would have never paid a hundred grand for a silo. <laughs> All right, so with that out of the way, uh, we also talked about a pressure washer. And most of you, the majority, said to get one. So we are going to get a pressure washer today. I'm going to put that right here. It's going to be $4,500. Um, I'm also going to purchase a toolbox. This will be something we can pick up anytime, put it near our machine or implements if they need repaired like our plow is it's struggling right now so there you go and wash our equipment finally it's the first time this tractor's got a bath so by popular demand uh, most of you did want to get the pressure washer I don't know if I'll be using it at a ton but, you know, when I drive by it and I remember, I'll, I'll definitely spray spray off the equipment so it's nice and fresh. And we'll see how much money it costs to uh, repair our plow. I guess... I don't think a plow is necessary to repair, actually. There's certain tools you do want to repair, but I don't think a plow is going to make a big difference all right get that parked up and put away look at that nice fresh tractor he looks pretty all right so with that out of the way we are gonna head over to the store probably going to walk because I think we're going to purchase a new tractor. We got some things over there to sell. 
and that'll give us plenty of money to buy a decent tractor and then that'll pull back the uh crap that'll pull back the planter that's also sitting at the uh, store all right so i will see you when we get over there oh man that is a long walk all right so here's our planter we bought on the last episode it's empty it can hold seeds and solid fertilizer i believe so we're gonna buy a tractor that can handle that we're gonna get something with a decent amount of horsepower uh, our planter here requires at least 150 horsepower so let's go shopping uh, see if anything's on sale nothing that we need so we're gonna go into the tractor sections we're just gonna hop right to medium-sized tractors see if we can find something affordable we got an ac 7000 series that has up to 182 horsepower we got a d21 that has up to it only has 119 horsepower so we'll probably pass on that uh, this has up to 170 i'm looking for more horsepower more horses got an 8900 series case for 58.9 not a bad price uh, this would definitely be good for some heavy work plowing and uh, cultivating if ever needed Let's see what else we got we got the traction king we got a john deere that has up to 185 uh, this has up to 261 horsepower man that's gonna look big huh We've had all these little tractors. Uh, now the prices are starting to get a little higher. So I would like to stay down here. I wouldn't, I don't really want to go over 80 grand. So it's pretty much anything from here down. Uh, I'm mostly looking for something for plowing. So I think. Tempting. This would be a good workhorse for plowing fields get up to 300 horsepower that does put the price a lot higher i think 212 horsepower would uh be pretty good that's 80 grand kind of tars we can get here stick some uh, michelins on there maybe i think the singles will get the job done for now Wheel weights, I don't think we need those either. Front weights, I would like some front weights. There's a thousand. Um, rim color's fine. We don't need any license plates. All right, yeah, I think we'll add uh, a Traction King. I think I've only used this tractor like one other time. So this will be good for plowing fields. All right, so that'll be 81,000. Two hundred dollars. We are going to buy it. Two hundred and ten horsepower. And there is our new tractor. Uh, technically, it could pull that no problem. At also, so we might use it today to plant. Uh, I also transported some old things over here that we just do not need. So we're gonna sell the Volvo since we have the uh, auto log trailer now and we're gonna sell this because i plan to upgrade next month when it's time to harvest i want a bigger harvester that was fun to use for our first harvest because we didn't have much to harvest but uh we're gonna start expanding now so we need something bigger so let's get this stuff repainted and repaired if needed And we'll sell that for 10 grand. 4,800. And about 40 grand we'll get back on the Volvo. So that puts us at about $100,000. Made about 54 grand on the trade ins. Fire our new tractor up. I 
I like to have a nice close view. All right. Yeah, yeah. Lights galore to work in the evening. Nice old case. Blinkers work good. Check the interior here. Nothing crazy, just old, but gets the job done. Plenty of horsepower. All right. I like that. Get hooked up to our new planter as well. Head back to the house and get some corn planted. I'll see you over there when we get there. Alright, just making it back to the farm. And she drives nice. She's nice and smooth. Good ride. She maxes out at about 26 miles an hour when you're cruising. Transporting things. All right, let's see. Hopefully our new silo has sol solid fertilizer and grass. It should. It's a bulk silo right off the mod hub. Let's fill up some seeds. Come on, baby. You better you better work. <laughs> There we go. Paid 691 bucks for seeds, and I forgot we got some leftover seeds, dang it. Actually, yeah, before we, uh, before we waste money, we got some fertilizer sitting over underneath the uh, one shed. Let's use up that first. And she's gone. That takes up the rest of our fertilizer. Yeah, the little John Deere under the shed, that's for seeding, like your your oats, sorghum, wheat, barley, all that good stuff. But our planter now, that can do corn, can do sugar beet, cotton, all that good stuff. Mostly got it so we can do corn. All right, we'll top the rest off here. There we go. Paid about 782 bucks on that. And we're going to head over there and get our first cornfield planted. Never mind. I forgot all about spreading lime. I can't remember anything. <laughs> we gotta spread lime before we uh, plant anything. My bad, getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself, so we're gonna shut this down. We're gonna go hook up to the old farm all and fill up on lime and get both fields covered in lime because we just uh, recently plowed them for the first time. I swear, my memory is just horrible. <laughs> oh, my. Go. This only holds about 900 liters, so we might have to make multiple trips. All right, now the time lapse will start. Now that I know what I'm doing, let's go. Enjoy.
Okay, so we got that done. That took a few trips. Um, I think that means we'll be upgrading this in the future. <laughs> Something uh, a little bigger that holds a larger amount of uh, lime. And it is empty, so we'll leave it empty. That way we can sell it off and upgrade it in the future. We got it all covered in lime, so pH levels will be nice. That'll help with the yield. There we go. Get this sprayed off. Like I said, I'll only use this when I'm driving by it, and I remember. Other than that, things will probably still be pretty dirty. They're all nice and clean again. All right, so uh, we are now gonna feed the animals and then plant. Why? Because they are completely out of water and it's hot out. It's a beautiful sunny May day and uh, I shouldn't be starving them. So we're gonna get that done and then plant the corn. Then I'm gonna switch tractors, hook up to the cedar and get grass planted into the other field. So uh, more time lapse coming up for you. Let's get to it.
Well, I don't know. I was hoping this was going to be a better pulling tractor. I mean, it's got over 200 horsepower, but it is struggling. Not performing like I was hoping it would. So this might have been a bad purchase. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but definitely, if it's struggling pulling this, it's going to do horrible pulling a plow. Dang it. So yeah. Like I got to keep shifting to second gear, and then it wants to bog down back to first. But not good. But we got the corn planted. So, at least we got that done. One last little patch. Uh, I think we're going to run out of time for this episode. I was hoping to get the grass planted, but uh, we'll just start the next episode off with that. And then probably fast forward time on the next episode. All right, so plenty of uh, leftovers for next time. Yeah, this tractor is not going to work out. I can already tell. So don't be surprised if we, <laughs> we have this sitting at the store uh, ready to sell for the next episode. Yeah. I was hoping it would work out, but it's not working out. But we did get the animals uh, fed and got the sheep watered. Also got our productions that needed water. Uh, we filled those up as well. Uh, new planter works fine. Just the tractor's not that great. So <laughs> we'll have to get even more power. Uh, we might have to splurge a little bit. Uh, but we also have to watch our money because I want to get a new harvester as well. So, I just don't know. There's so many decisions. Oh, my goodness, laddie. Yeah, next time we'll sell that little fertilizer spreader, that little lime spreader. We'll probably sell this tractor. <laughs> and we'll get the grass field planted in. Just kind of see where our money is sitting next time. Because we'll... It'll be another month ahead of time after we get the grass planted. That dropped. Oh, that's cool. Sitting next to our seeds. Might as well fill it real quick. Yep. Like how each little door opens. Alright, cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. Got we got our normal stuff done, and I uh, got the field. We got the corn in, so that'll all be growing in in the month of June, and we'll start seeing some progress on all that. But uh, our sheep are 11 months old. They're getting close to reproduction. They're full on water, good on food. Uh, this cow pen I could have put more in, but that'll that's plenty. That'll hold them off. They're at nine months. Three more months, they'll start producing milk. That's going to help out income-wise as well. And then our other pasture, same thing. Uh, they're full on food at 100% productivity. And they're about halfway to producing babies as well. All right. We take a look at our field information. There's our corn we just planted. And it's in its first growth stage. This, I think these are oats. Those will be ready to harvest in May, the very next month. We still need to plant our grass here. Uh, ignore the weeds. We have no weeds in our fields. As far as fertilizer goes, this is because we cut grass. We plowed grass, actually. So we did get that second application. But uh, once that first growth goes, we'll spray the rest of the field so it's good to go. And yeah, everything's looking good. Production-wise, 
Uh, we're good on our fruit and vegetables, maple syrups topped off with water. Sawmill has 44,000 liters of wood, so it's going to keep doing its thing. And then grain mill is empty, deactivated, but once we get that oat harvest in, it's all going to go from the field into a trailer right over to the grain mill so we can produce flour and make money off of flour pallets as well. And right, so thank you so much for uh, watching another episode, episode 22. Yeah. This is episode 22. My goodness. That makes me tired just thinking about it. All right, have a great one, everybody. Thank you so much. Hit that like button on the way out. We'll catch you next time. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming, signing off. Goodbye.